Hi, it's Tech Kim, and today we're going to talk Connect to Scratch. If you're already a fan of Scratch, you're going to love Connect to Scratch. If you haven't used Scratch yet, then you need to get on board, uh, especially if you're an educator or parent. It's an awesome program from MIT for kids to create, and even adults, to create games and animations. So you'll definitely want to sign up for an account and download uh, the, Connect, the Scratch software, which will work on Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu platform. Again, if you're unfamiliar with Scratch, I recommend starting with the Scratch cards to learn how the program works. And on YouTube, I have a channel, TechCam, where I have lots of tutorials on creating uh, games with Scratch. The other thing you'll need, obviously, is a Kinect system. Now, this will work with either a Kinect for Xbox 360 or Kinect for Windows. The most important thing is that you have these extensions, uh, independent power supply, that's part of that connect system and a USB connection. So if you have these extensions, you should be good to go. Finally, you need to get software, both from Stephen Howell, who's an educator in Ireland, and from Microsoft. Stephen is actually uh, the person who made the Connect to Scratch SDK, and you're gonna request a download from him. He does ask you for some inf information. All he's really trying to do is find out how his software is being used, especially by educators. I've known him for a while now, and uh, he's a great guy, and I wouldn't be worried about giving him your information. After you request that download, I'd go ahead and get the samples, because it's going to really help you get going. And then there's a setup guide, but basically that's what I'm taking you through right now. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's uh, drivers from Windows that you'll need to install. Either Connect for Windows, if that's the kind of system you have, or Connect for Xbox 360. This uh, will connect to Scratch will only work on Windows systems that are 7 or 8. Also, it's a pretty big, uh, pretty CPU intense program, so you might want to check out your computer system. I'm just going to show you mine here. I'm using a laptop. It has 4 gig, gig of memory, which I think is probably the minimum, and its processor is not that great. In fact, I was having some um, performance issues, so what I did is I went here and started typing perf and adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And I said adjust for best performance, which is why it kind of looks like a Windows 98 platform. But you can always come back later and put it let you, let Windows choose to get it back to a Windows 7 or 8 look. So once you've got that going, you are ready to connect the scratch up itself. Not the scratch, the connect system up itself. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes for the drivers to install while you do that. And you're going to want to make sure you put the Connect to Scratch SDK that you downloaded from Steven, there he is, somewhere accessible. I put it on the desktop. And you're ready to go. Let's start it up. So the first thing you'll do is do Launch Connect. This is you need to consider space when you're doing Connect to Scratch. Um, I'm standing about six feet away from my Connect system, and I need to make sure that there aren't going to be people going behind me because that'll mess up. So consider that when you're setting it up. The other thing about Connect to Scratch is it's really good for a collaboration because you want to have somebody at the computer getting things going and then somebody who uh, and, and doing some programming and then somebody's testing the program out. So that red skeleton you saw showed that it's ready. So now I'm going to Connect to Scratch and start Scratch up. And I'm just going to put this off to the side so I can still see my skeleton. I'm going to use one of the sample programs that Stevens provided to show you how this works. And you'll see that now remote sensors are connected, and I'm going to show you those in a bit. But let's just see how this works. So there you go. And if we go to sensing, you'll be able to see that we have all these new sensor values um, from the Connect. So it's giving us all the skeletal values. Anyway, come back soon and we'll do some more Connect to Scratch. Good luck.